Hello everyone. So I already posted the winner for the giveaway just in case you missed out, bitch. Go and fucking check it out. And congratulations to the winner. I'll make sure to include your Instagram name below, bitch, if you want. That way I could reach out to you. If not, I'm just gonna keep your prize, honey. Congratulations again, and if you're new to my little channel, I just had a little giveaway for the holidays. I hope maybe I could um make another one before, like, or maybe for like the new year or something. But we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Make sure. Oh, wait, don't put it that fucking close. I wanna make some cochinero. I don't know how to handle this shit. So um, I'm going to be doing a nail set that I already showed you guys yesterday or I don't know when this is going to be posted because con el pinche internet vale verga que tengo, como que takes fucking forever to upload but it's going to be some blue nails, kind of like my my shirt thing that I'm wearing and they're really really cute. I did them matte so let me know what you guys think about the matte nails and if you haven't already done so bitch. Subscribe to my little channel, leave me a little thumbs up, no thumbs down bitch, you little hater. I see you in all my little YouTube videos. One little hope putting negative, negative feedback, but who cares? We need a little bit of negativity sometimes too, you know? That's how I'm going to get more popular with my haters. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little videito that I made. I didn't know what the fuck to do, so I was like, okay girl, I'm going to throw it back a little bit in my 3D flowers that I used to do before. You know, like the full nail. I used to love it. Everybody used to ask me for that shit. Every fucking color, I did it. So, leave me a little comment on what you thought of this set. Do you think it was better shiny? Because I think I did show the shiny version and the matte version. So, drop a little comment, bitch. And happy holidays, everybody. I don't know if I'm going to be able to record any more videos from now until Christmas. So, just in case I don't, Merry Christmas, everybody. But definitely before New Year's, I will give you guys some more content. Y no me van el ligote porque no lo he rasurado, la verdad. Bye-bye. So, I'm going to be using this beautiful blue color acrylic from Zule Acrylic System, bitch. And I don't remember if it was number 35, but I will try my best to start putting all the information on products that I'm using on the description because sometimes I feel like I'm rapping and like just talking and talking and talking and giving you guys the information on the products and then I want to like cheese me out with you and then I can because I already the video is over so if you want to know information on the products that I'm using and I forget to mention them during the video I will try my best to post them on the description along with a little link well, the only link that I could get is from my website because I don't know how to get the links from the other ones. But, you know, girlfriend, I will start learning as I go. And right here, I already knew I was going to do the whole nail blue because I was like, girl, we still in the winter vibe. So we're going to do a blue nail, but I'm going to do a whole different kind of shade of blue only because everybody is into like the light blues right now. So I don't know. I just felt like this blue is like fancy like sexy vibes i have no idea i don't think that i'm gonna be able to do my blue nails that i wanted so i was like all right girl i'm gonna do my little homies hands over here my homita and i i switched it up on my brush um i'm using my number 16 mermaid kalinsky brush from my website um because this one does hold a lot more monomer this one is a little larger than the pink handle number 16, so depending on my mood, I switch up my brush. I don't know if I'm fucking weird. Am I the only one that does that, or do you do that too? Comment below if you switch up your brush depending on your mood or or what you're doing. Like, I don't know. I could switch from this brush to that brush real quick. And so I'm just doing the whole nail with the same color. And a few of you guys were like, okay, well, just, I want to see your acrylic application. I was like, okay, girlfriend, let me show you. And ever since that young lady told me about the monomer, I mean, the acetone not being good to put it in the monomer, I stopped doing it. So I sped up my, my video because 
right now um in the winter does take longer for it to dry como que i ain't gonna leave you guys watching me doing the nail for like three minutes and shit so you know speed it up a little bit but you have to give it some time to start setting before you try to like move the, the bead if not your whole product will move to the tip of the nail and you're not gonna have any product in the area that you want it so like i usually hold my product in my brush for like a few seconds allowing it to start to set so that way when i place it it's not like dry of course but it's not like runny or anything like that and ready to like spread through the whole nail and right here i entered a clip of how i apply my clear acrylic because i don't think i've ever showed that i don't know i normally just wipe the whole nail with a little bit of monomer before i apply the clear so that there is no bubbles because if you ever apply a clear acrylic and for some reason it's drying faster than normal you will receive um i mean the fuck am i I just got a text and I, I was kind of reading it. Um, you will see that there's like air bubbles. This is more common during the summer when your acrylic is drying too fast. So that's just a little tip. Wipe it with your brush. And in the winter time, if your room temperature is really cold, you will see little bubbles in your acrylic. If it's too cold in the room and the, the acrylic doesn't dry that fast. So make sure to turn on your little heater, girl. And you guys thought that I was going to say put acetone, but no, 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 no. Turn on your little heater. And that will help the acrylic dry a little bit faster. So right here, I'm going to be using the same acrylic. I just wanted to show it to you guys again. Because I wasn't sure what clips I was going to be using or which ones I was going to crop. So I had already filed and um, buffed them and everything. There's still a little bit of scratches because... I don't buff them too, too much because I want my base coat, I mean, my top coat and my petals to adhere really, really well. And I'm using the number six 3D brush to do the, the, the petals because I'm going to be doing larger flowers. So I require a larger brush so that I can hold more monomer. And I did put a little bit of acetone into my monomer for the 3D. Now this is the only time I guess that um acetone is okay to use um this is what i was taught so that's where i got the idea of me putting it in my monomer all the time you know but i guess it was not a good idea for the whole nail only because it loosens the the strength but for 3d is okay so right here i ended up applying another bead so that it starts to set a little bit more and then I could work on it because like I mentioned um, it does take a little bit longer for it to dry and just in general um, 3d you have to make sure that that you are pressing down the acrylic when it's more on the drier side than like super wet if not, the petal is not going to stay and you will have to keep pressing and pressing and pressing and ain't nobody got time to um to be waiting and waiting and waiting. So I was like, alright girl, I'm gonna multitask porque si no, aquí me va a dar la medianoche y aquí voy a andar con los mismos petalitos. I mean, the good thing about this design is that it's cute as fuck. The only downside is that like, bitch, so many petals so many little petals you gotta do and um so that's the only thing that i dislike about the design that it just takes so long um i think i recorded myself and just for this one nail it took me like nine motherfucking minutes can you believe that but it's so beautiful so por eso el 3d es carito mija porque time is money and it fucking took 10 motherfucking minutes I mean, some people will take them a little bit longer. Some people will take them less time. I don't know. But um, the cold does not help the sister out. So I'm going to be filling in the hole now with 3D. And 
some of them are gonna be complete roses and some of them are just gonna be like little fillers and right now you're like what the fuck you know don't even a pinche rosa yo nomas veo un pegoste but no 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 espérate ahorita le voy a poner el bling bling um now some people don't like bling bling so they would just leave it like that with no center no nothing but you know me i'm not a basic ass hoe i like to add bling to everything although i was trying to go for a more basic look for this set because i thought it looked a little fancy but then i was like you know what um we'll save the symbol for another day because this one is is cute i mean i think i did a pretty good job keeping it kind of simple but i still added a little bit more bling pero pues i met i met this and see said good job with holding back on the bling or should have added it should I, uh, i can't even talk es que quiero aquí mi mi pastelito estoy comiendo pastelito de chocolate mm, so fucking bomb bitch so i'm gonna give you guys a some more up in here So what you want to do when you do a nail that's full 3D, you want to make sure to not do 3D all the way to the edges, kind of like if it's a bling nail, only because you want to keep the the shape of the nail still. Like, I want it to still look stiletto. I don't want it to look all retarded and extra fat and wide if I go all the way to the side. And keeping the larger flowers towards the center of the nail, not all the way in the sides. is something that you should remember. And I just added like a little petal towards the tip. Because I was like, okay girl. Aquí casi no me va a caber ni madre. So nomás le voy a poner un pinche petalito a la verga y ya. So this was pretty simple. Um, I want you guys to recreate it and tag me if you do tag my Zulane nail shop honey um and right now i'm going to be opening up a pack of bling because you know i mentioned that last time i'm not gonna be using my bling anymore honey my swarovski crystals on this fake homie hand those are just gonna be for myself so i'm gonna be these right here are the i think i call them gold champagne or something like that these are from my website and I'm putting them in this little box of bling that I already have. Um, because this is going to be my homie hand bling. This is the bling bling that I'm going to be using on these little models. Um, I'm using the Zulay bling adhesive. And I'm going to put a little dot. Because I know I want the bling to be really little. So whenever you're doing this, make sure not to put too much glue. Or else you're going to be able to see the glue all over the flower. And you do not want to top coat the flowers ever because then they're gonna look fake as fuck so make sure to just put the little the little glue in the center and put your bling right away and I don't know what size these little diamonds are but I want to say they were like a size 3 or 5 and then in the little teeny tiny gaps where there's no flower I also went ahead and put a little diamond in there just to make it a little more glam like the lejitos, you're like, what the fuck is that? There's like something on the nail, but up close, girl. Ooh, it looks so cute. And then this other nail, the French one, I don't know what I did with the video. Like, I recorded it for you guys, and it just, I don't know what I did with it. Um, So that one, I was like, okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of bling. I don't want to, like, cover the V. I don't want to outline it either. And it was me sale bien chueco, so I was like, okay, let me take it off and do it again. And then I was like, okay, you know what? Como que need a little bit more bling. So then I'm going to add a little teeny weeny one. But just like this, they look so cute. I was like, okay, yeah, yes, too. Pero luego dije, no, 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 no. Sabes que le falta el dedo del medio. So let me know what color I should do next on my next model. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do because most of the time I think of these ideas like randomly although you guys have requested certain videos I fucking forget even though I wrote them down in my notes I forget sometimes because 
I forget I have another phone with notes and stuff, but let me know if you like how this blue and the golden bling look. I was going to do silver, but I just felt like everybody and their mama does silver all the time. So I was like, alright girl, I'm going to switch it up a little bit with these little champagne goldy um, bling. And if you want these crystals, but Swarovski version, that would be the closest color to this would be the crystal golden shadow. But I really like these because they're like sparkly, not as sparkly as the Swarovskis, but close enough. So they were like super cute. I really, really love how the matte was looking. So I was like, okay, honey, I'm going to put a matte top coat. Like, I really want to do shiny, but I feel like all of them have been shiny. We gotta give some, some something else to the channel. Some variety. So, las voy a dejar. Porque mi pinche pastelito está bien rico y se me está haciendo la boca. I swear to God. My fucking saliva is like crazy. Nada más me echo un pedacito. Y no, hombre, ya me lo quiero tragar todo entero. Um, so, yeah. Let me know. Let me know if you like this design or you thought it was too much for you or what. Now, this is not for everybody. And it's totally understandable, but I thought it was cute. Just a little too simple for me. For my hands. But it's cute. It would look better if it was pink. But blue was nice. Alright, pues hasta la otra. Se cuidan, por favor. No van a comer muchos tamales para Navidad. Y si se, se comen muchos, think about me because I don't have tamales this year. Oh fuck, my fucking, my pastel fell. Oops. Alright, bye.